Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our channel. So as you can see, me and Baby Liv are 50 shades of green today because we have an epic energizing green smoothie recipe for you and because we're talking about a highly requested topic, we get DMs and questions all the time from you guys about coffee and caffeine in general. So everything from do you guys drink coffee to how can I quit coffee or how can I quit caffeine or maybe just minimize because it doesn't always make you feel the best. So that's exactly what we're gonna dive into right now. First and foremost, you're probably thinking we've been guzzling the coffee as busy parents of now two chasing a crazy toddler during the day and staying up all hours of the night with a newborn, but Dusty and I have honestly never been coffee drinkers, and at this stage in the game, we don't plan on starting anytime soon. So while many people tout coffee's health benefits, it does have a lot of drawbacks as well, which is one of the reasons why it never really appealed to Dusty and I, and in the process of getting older and a little bit more tired, especially as parents, we've found healthy alternatives to energize us. You may be wondering, why should I kick coffee? It has benefits, right? The truth is, the drawbacks from coffee far outweigh its benefits. For instance, anytime I've ever drank coffee, it makes me crazy jittery, crazy anxious, makes me go to the bathroom, so it's a diuretic. Some people like the fact that coffee makes them go to the bathroom in the mornings, but it can actually lead to dehydration. It gives you bad breath. Number one, I'm thinking about my parents as a kid with like this terrible coffee breath. Coffee can also deplete your adrenals, which can actually make you feel more tired, causing you to drink more caffeine, and this endless cycle of more tired, more coffee just always repeats, all the while you're just getting more and more bogged down. In Erin's case, if you are a pregnant or breastfeeding mother, too much caffeine can actually overstimulate the infant's nervous system, and it stains teeth. People are always asking us how we have such white teeth, and besides oil pulling and all these other things, it could be that we have never drank coffee, so therefore no coffee stains. Anxiety is like the the real pandemic if you ask me and too much caffeine makes people anxious jittery which again keeps you up at night and kind of like adrenal fatigue lousy sleep is what's gonna make you think you need more caffeine and if you still aren't sold beyond all of that caffeine is the second most addictive substance on this planet next to heroin okay so why not just cut caffeine altogether and get your antioxidants from a healthy whole food source that doesn't have side effects. So we're not saying that everyone has to quit coffee altogether or caffeine altogether. I myself have had my on and off romances with green tea and matcha, so I do not blame you. But if you're feeling like your coffee consumption has gone a little overboard, then maybe these recipes and these tips can help. If you Google search what is the body's preferred fuel source, you will find glycogen. So where do we find glycogen? In carbs. Where do we find carbs? In whole healthy foods like fruits and some of the things that we're going to show you here. So what the body needs again is healthy foods, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Caffeine is not a nutrient, it is a stimulant. So that's why we're talking about cutting that out and giving the body what it really needs. Right, so this smoothie recipe is gonna be incredibly nutrient dense. So a lot of times if you're feeling sluggish or lethargic or low energy, it might be because you're depleted in certain nutrients like vitamins and minerals. So this recipe is gonna be chock full of everything you need, not just tons of carbs, but also protein and healthy fats. So it's gonna be a very complete meal in a glass or a salad in a glass. Dusty and I start almost every single morning with a green smoothie. Having a green smoothie first thing in the morning is not just energizing, this one actually tastes amazing. It's also mineralizing, alkalizing, and detoxifying. So it kind of covers all the bases. First ingredient is coconut water as our liquid because it is an extremely electrolyte rich drink. So scratch the Gatorade, this stuff is all natural. Aside from coconut water's hydration and mineralizing benefits, a fun fact is that soldiers during the Vietnam War actually were using coconut water in place of blood for blood plasma transfusions. So this is the only known source on the planet that can actually do that in your body. So many people actually go to Farm of Life in Costa Rica where we host our retreats to actually detox, to heal from severe illnesses, and many times they will do a complete coconut water fast where all they're consuming for a period of days is coconut water. So you can actually live off of this stuff. Our second ingredient is two tablespoons of chia seeds. So this is Dusty and I's preferred source of omega-3 fatty acids. It's extremely beneficial for several different reasons, but one of the coolest 
coolest things is that this has been used by the Aztecs as far back as 3500 BC for its energizing properties and it would provide them stamina to endure long distances. So it's amazingly energizing and again, a healthy fat that'll keep you fuller longer. So in Mayan, chia actually means strength and the Mexican Tarahumara tribe is known for their runners who are said to consume chia seeds with water and lemon and it's said to help them run for hundreds of miles. Next up is our three favorites for energy from Sun Warrior. So I actually went live on Instagram with the co-founder a few months ago and he's just a brilliant guy with such a great mission and these products are the cleanest out there on the market. The most important thing is a lot of times with protein powders they become denatured because they're processed using heat. Sun Warriors does not do that. So you're getting maximum bang for your buck in the energy department with their raw vegan protein powders. Our favorite is the Sun Warrior Warrior Blend because it contains pea, goji, and hemp protein. And when I first thought goji, I've never heard of that. Well, actually, it's one of the fruits that contains all of the essential amino acids. So amazing profile, and it's definitely gonna give you energy, and it makes the smoothie taste even better. Our next favorite is the Sun Warrior Super Greens. Like I said, greens not only energize, they also alkalize and detoxify. So they're super mineral rich, which is something our bodies are always depleted of between depleted soil and poor nutrient absorption from all of the toxins we're exposed to in this environment today. So greens are a must. It's nice to have that extra concentrated boost on top of the actual leafy greens we're gonna add in. And finally, our third favorite that we use daily from Sun Warrior is the liquid light fulvic acid mineral complex. So it's full of these trace minerals that our bodies just aren't being exposed to from depleted soil and water and harmful toxins in the environment. So personally, I like to take a capful and add it to my water bottle every single morning, but today we're gonna add it to the smoothie just so you only have to bring one glass with you on the go out the door. This stuff is literally like Gatorade, except it doesn't have the added sugar, and all you have to add is a capful to any of your drinks or smoothies. And another cool thing that Denley, the co-founder of Sun Warrior, told me is that it actually increases nutrient absorption. So just think, if you're adding this to your smoothie, you're gonna get even more bang for your buck. If you guys are interested in any of the Sun Warrior products, protein supplements, you can use Eat Move Rest for 20% off. We will link it below. Right. Oh, did you come out to help? Last but not least, our whole foods we're gonna add in. Some green leafies, we've got dino kale here, two stalks of celery, and next we're gonna add our flavor and calorie boosters in the form of delicious tropical fruit. All right, are you ready? You wanna drop these in for me? We add those in? Good job. Good job. Last but not least, we're gonna add in our frozen tropical fruit. So we've got four frozen ripe freckled bananas and three cups of pineapple and mango. So these can be frozen or fresh. You can use one or the other, but we're gonna use both today. Depending on whether you're using frozen or fresh fruit, you may need to add more liquid. It's totally up to you what kind of texture and consistency you want. Let's get blending. <laughs> the taste test. Good. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh. If this doesn't wake you guys up in the morning, I don't know what will. If you still want your coffee, it's still not a bad idea to add this in too. Another thing is to always consider looking at your sleep. A good night's sleep always trumps the best or the biggest cup of coffee. If you're digging on this smoothie and want more, definitely consider downloading our recipe ebook. We've got tons of super good tasty smoothies and other breakfast ideas that you're gonna seriously love. And definitely check out Sun Warrior again because we love them as a company, love their products. So get your discount and get your products. Eat, move, rest, your best. Peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 